Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. And tonight I've got something pretty cool to show off, but let me do a little bit of backstory on this. So about, ooh, I don't know, three months ago, two months ago, um, I went to HamFest in Raleigh and picked up uh, a two-meter ham radio, which you've seen some uh, videos on now at this point. But anyway, uh, I mentioned at the time that I'd been out of ham for a while and I got back into it, picked up this little two-meter, and I was going to give it a shot to uh, try to hit the uh, repeaters and stuff. And if you've seen one of my recent videos, you know that, that so far that hasn't worked out very well, but I'm still working on getting that directional antenna up, so we'll go from there. But during this conversation, apparently I caught the ear of a company, and that's this company, Retrievus. And they contacted me, and I'm, I'm happy to say that they were kind enough to send me one of their brand new dual-band digital DMR ham radios to test out, to try it out. And, and this is pretty sweet. So it just came in the mail the other day. I wanted to take a minute to go ahead and do an unboxing video. Now, a little bit of background on me. I, I am a ham radio licensee, and uh, it's been years. It's been probably five years since I owned any real ham gear or played with ham radio stuff. So a lot has changed. DMR, digital radio, those things are not things I'm really familiar with. So it's, it's new technology. It's really cool technology. A lot of the repeaters now have gone digital. So I'm really looking forward to getting this thing out and playing with it. And later on, we'll do some range tests with it between this and in analog mode, obviously, between the base station that I picked up here a little while ago and this. But uh, that's enough of the backstory. Let's go ahead and open this thing up and check it out. I'm kind of excited. I did have a chance to look at some other reviews on this, and they were very generally positive. I'm hoping that they're uh, going to live up to the hype. Now, due process here, this will not be a review of this product. Um, I have to go through the manual and do a little bit of research before I really test it out. But I do want to do an unboxing video. I did tell them that uh, you know if I don't like the product, if, if I'm not happy with the product, or I think it's not built well, that I'm going to tell the truth and tell you that I don't like the product or that it's not built well. So that's something for you to be aware of. I'm not going to sugarcoat this just because they sent it to me. But I am very happy that they did. And I hope that it is a great product. So let's take a look. I'll get this close up here. See if we can get the focus to work on it. There we go. The model is an HD1. It looks like 10 watts and 8 watts, so high-low. Frequency reception, we got 136 to 174, that's your 2 meter, and 400 to 480, so it is a dual band. This also has GPS functions, which is something that none of the radios I've ever had have had. So uh, let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get in here. All right, well, it's pretty bare bones so far, but we've got this. Radio. I can tell you right away, it feels pretty heavy. Now, I know the, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Bofungs or Balfungs, or whatever those are, have been extremely popular, and I don't know how this is going to compare to those. I've, I've heard mixed reviews on those, but uh, I can tell you this, it, it feels uh, pretty stout. It's made out of a good hard plastic, and uh, yeah, it has a good feel to it. So let me set that aside. We'll see what else comes in the box here. Pull this up. Okay, well, I'm glad to see this. A lot of times now, manuals are all digital or all online or whatnot. I'm glad to see a printed manual. And it's actually, yeah, okay, cool. It's pretty pretty stout. It's a pretty thick manual. So that's a good sign because I'm going to need some help. This has got a lot of functions, it looks like. And uh, the last two-meter handheld I had was a Yasu. And, and, man, that thing was took about a year to figure out how to use everything. Great. Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of info here. Cool. So that's good. Let's set that aside. Looks like we've got our charger here. Cordless charger. Great. All right. Set that aside. What else we have here? What is this? USB. Oh, I bet a dollar that's a programming cable. So that's nice. A lot of these radios... You have to go out and get a, a programming cable separately, especially the older stuff, but uh, that's nice. So that must fit on here. Yeah, probably right there. Be able to program it through your computer. I don't know if the software came with it, but uh, that's probably something you can download as well. I don't know. We'll see what else is in this box. So that's nice. I'll set that aside. And uh, in here. Okay, that's the power cord for the charging stand. Oh, let's see here, 0.2 amps, 480 milliamps at 10 volts, so not a lot not a lot of draw on that, set that aside. 
And there's our little rubber ducky antenna. That's nice. Looks like it screws in. We'll go ahead and screw that in there right now and see how that looks. Nice. I like it. And then it looks like, what do we have here? Oh, uh, belt clip holder and a lanyard. Okay. Well, those are kind of nice. See, I'll have to screw that on there and see where that goes. Probably right up there on top. Yep. That's actually really nice. So if you were going to use this, uh, you know, out hunting or whatnot, good to have both of those. Both of those are really nice things to have. Let's see if we got a CD or anything. No, no CD. So it's missing the software. But other than that, that's pretty nicely packaged. Comes with all the stuff we'll pretty much need. Uh, the little charging base here. That's cool. So yeah, let's see. Uh, I don't know if this thing comes pre-charged, but we'll turn it on and just take a quick look at it. I don't. Again, I don't know anything about the functions of this, so I'm not going to be transmitting or, or really getting in depth tonight. But I want to show it off. Looks like you're pushed to talk. That's probably channel up and down. I'm going to guess uh, up on top here. Uh, volume and squelch. I'm going to imagine, and then a bunch of functions down here. Let's see what happens. Looks like the battery's dead. Yep. No battery, so... Oh! Frequency mode. Ah, well, what do you know? Okay, it's not dead. And it talks. So, uh... Okay. Wow, full color screen. That's nice. Hopefully you can hear that, but it's got a nice little beep as you change the channels. It is already in DMR mode. Looks like it's pretty close to uh, the, the little really call frequency here. Oh, we've got menus... Dual band messages, boy, like I said, I don't want to get into this too much tonight because there's just a lot going on here and I'm not really familiar with all these functions, but it looks like encryption, GPS, radio modes, wow, really nice, really high, boy, I tell you that heft of that is pretty nice, the fact that it's a full color screen is pretty impressive as well, cool, well, that's it for tonight, I just wanted to do this unboxing video, I've been kind of excited to play with this thing, but to be honest with you, I need to go to school, so I need to take a little little time to figure out all the functions, but when we get this thing working and uh, get all the uh, things figured out, obviously I'll try DMR mode, maybe if I go into town I can hit a, a digital repeater in town if we have one, uh, I know out here so far I haven't been able to hit any repeaters analog wise, but who knows, there's those options there. Also, uh, I want to do analog to analog between the base and uh, and this digital. See what kind of range, simplex range you can get uh, one way, you know, two way radio, just regular, no no repeaters involved. And that's kind of interesting because you know I do the CB ones and I was able to get 17 miles. I've got that directional antenna. Once I get that new tower up, which I'm still working on, I'll point it right towards town and uh, we'll see what happens. So that's it for tonight. I am Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms. Hope you enjoyed this unboxing video of this great new radio that I was uh, very fortunate to have gotten my hands on. Alloyance HD1 or the uh, Retrievus HD1, which is what I've, I was told it was called. But uh, this company was nice enough to send me one for checking and uh, testing, and I'm, I'm happy to do that. So this is Eric, owner of Farpoint Farms, and I'll see you next time. We'll probably have part two, part three, and possibly a part four when we do those range tests. Take care. Something that needs a little fixing on Far Point Farms. Freedom is mighty sweet. Liberty so is